Why do some people sleepwalk and others don't? Well, you know, somewhere probably around 40 or 50% of the population have, have had at least a sleepwalking episode. But in adults, probably only about 3 or 4% of the population still sleepwalk um, more in childhood uh, than that. And, it, and I guess it's something we kind of grow out of. It's part, it, part of our brain is awake and part of our brain is asleep. The part of our brain that's asleep is the bit that makes sense of things, that remembers things, that makes rational plans. But the part of the brain that's kind of wakened up in sleepwalking is the part of the brain that allows us to do basic things, uh, like to walk around, for example. There's a genetic predisposition. Sleepwalking often runs in families. So that could be one reason why someone's sleepwalking. And other times, people who are prone to sleepwalking are more likely to sleepwalk at times of stress, when they're not getting enough sleep, maybe when they're drinking a bit as well, and maybe when they're not altogether dealing with how they're feeling about things, maybe blocking on their emotions. So there's a number of physiological and psychological factors that can be part of that as well as the, the genetic predisposition to sleepwalking. Interesting, interesting phenomenon, sleepwalking. Thanks for the question.